Now we have a few screwdrivers, old screwdrivers. Uh, let's just have a look. They have some uh, a word writing on it, maybe from 1950 or 1960s. Uh, let's just uh, have a look at how to use this old screwdriver and where they made a uh, brand name, etc. Okay, firstly, this is a big one. And this one is, you can, you have a, a switch here, so you can use this way. So it's a turning, rotating only one way. And if you change the switch position, you can slide it the other way. You can say you only can turn that direction. Another thing about this screwdriver is that you can uh, turn this to release it. See? So this you can just uh, uh, push. We can push it back and turn this side. Okay, turn this side a bit to lock it into place. So we lock it into place in the shorter version. It's not easy to see. And all around this circle logo, words of a craftsman. And the big letters, guys. The next line, hand tools limited. That's model, model 500. And the last line, made in England. So this is the first one. The second one is much smaller and you have it's not extensible, uh, but you just have this uh, a switch to turn the direction, and you can turn only one direction, so it's, it's uh, easier uh, to use. And also we have some word. So on the top it said Sheffield, and then the big letters full use number 641 last line england next one this is a quite uh, long one it's a spade screwdriver i think and we only have uh, some writings over here so it's a uh, fedco sheffield england And this is a quite a normal, like a modern one. You may buy similar uh, from a B and a Q. Uh, it is Stanley, made in England. And this one is just an old screwdriver. Uh, there's an uh, engraving here. Steady, fast. X. Sheffield, England. And the next one here, the no brand, but we have some letter here. Ten thousand volt, Germany. The last one, Draper number eleven. West Germany.